Happy Wednesday. Here is part two of my Dollar Tree haul to share with you all. It is uh, fall. I know that I've hauled lots of fall items before, but they got more. They even have more. I was like, what? What? Wait a minute. Am I dreaming? <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. I'm just going to start off with these. These are so cute. You get eight of them. They're wooden acorns. You can paint up. You can leave, you know, this color. Maybe there's something, you you know, you can use them besides an acorn. Maybe you can use them as a acorn top on a jar or something, you know, like this. Take a jar and use the acorn as a little knob. Wouldn't that be cute? So many ideas I have in my head. So, yeah, they had the acorns. They had these cute little apples, so cute. They also had the mushrooms. Again, the mushrooms would make a cute little knob for something. I just, or, oh gosh, yeah. So, so cute, and you get eight in each of those. The Crafter Square section at Dollar Tree, I am telling you, they are really, really making it nice for us crafters, uh, especially us that live in a rural area. We don't have a whole lot of stores. I don't have a Hobby Lobby. I don't have a Michaels. I do have a Joann's, but you know, they're out, they're so expensive. And when you're trying to do budget friendly um, crafts, um, you know, you want it for a, you want it for a dollar. <laughs> I don't know if that's the chintzy in me or what, but I want it for a dollar. And <laughs> so anyway, moving on. I'm rambling again. Look at these cute little wooden uh they're calling them DIY pins because they have the little clothespin on the back, but you don't have to use the clothespin. You can just take that off and glue these and use them as appliques. So how cute are those? You get four of the trucks. You get eight or, you know, I'm sorry, you get six of the, the leaves. And you get six of the pumpkins. How cute are those? What a great idea. That is just awesome. Can't wait to do something with those. And then they had new wall of decals at my store. This one says, with God, all things are possible. And hopefully you can see all the detail in that. Look how beautiful that is. Look at all the scrolls in there. So, so pretty. So yeah, they had that one. And then they also had this one. It says, our family gathering our families gathering place sit long talk much and laugh often i think they had something similar to this um i don't think it was quite like this but yeah so pretty and if you didn't want to use this you can always you know cut this up and just use certain words um on your diys as well so that was that and then they had this is what i went for this is what I went for. I was doing a, a craft and I needed one of these and I thought I had some. I guess I used them up last year. This is what I went for and luckily they had them. I didn't even know if they would have them anymore. Um, but so yeah, they had just, the whole store was looked so beautiful. It was so nice in stock, not just the crafting or the seasonal area. The whole store was, was packed. The Food, it just was, it was a really nice looking store. And I just got to tell you, my store is always clean. It was, um, in the past years back, no, it wasn't. But ever since I think it, it, it has new management now, my store is clean. It's, it's nice looking when you walk in. I mean, if you go on late on in the afternoon when they're, you know, the customers have tore up the store, of course not, but they always in the morning, it's back to normal and clean. But anyway, gosh, I'm rambling today. Anyway, so this is what I went for. They had this. They also had the acorn and they had the turkey. I didn't get the turkey. Um, I don't know what I would do with it. So I just, I, I thought, let me just leave it for other people that have something in mind. <laughs> they also, these are repeats from last year. I think they're a little smaller if I'm not mistaken, but that's okay. Um, so here's the acorn. They had the pumpkin shape, which I'm currently doing a, a craft with. And what other shape? Oh, the leaf. They had the leaf as well. That's a repeat from last year. But these are not repeats from last year, at least at my store, or I missed 
the boat on it. I don't know if if these are new. I, I want to say yes, they are the shiplap look. So they have the shiplap uh, acorn. They have the shiplap leaf. Now, I do believe they had the shiplap pumpkins last year, uh, um, if I'm not mistaken. But this is, I think, a smaller version, if I, if I remember correctly. So there's that shape. They also had these wooden wording appliques. This one says, thankful, blessed. I love this one. Can't wait to use these. And then this one says, harvest wishes with the maple leaf there. I hope that's a maple leaf. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. So anyway, there's that. So, so cute. Crafting is going to be so much fun this year. So, okay. I don't need any signs. Lord knows I've got so many signs. I really, really need to start crafting my stash because I'm getting overwhelmed. I'm getting too much stuff. And I mean, that's what I buy it for, right? To craft with it. So pretty soon I'm going to be going through my craft room and, and doing some organizing and purging and gifting the things that I don't think I'm going to use anymore. And I'm going to start really, well, I really have. I've been trying to work, uh, use things that are in my stash and incorporate them with the new. That way, you know, I get to use both. So anyway, Again, I talk too much. Look at this sign. Look how pretty this sign is. It says, Happy Fall. I could not leave these signs behind. I had to get them. I just think they're beautiful. Um, the, the glitter is not overwhelming whatsoever. And yeah, so I got that one. They also had one that says, Count Your Blessings with the pumpkin on it. Look how pretty that is. With the gal oh, I didn't mention it's got the galvanized in the back there peeking through the cutout here. So that's just a really pretty detail. Makes it, you know, set apart from their normal signs that the Dollar Tree usually carries. And then I couldn't remember, uh oh, my little applique fell off, my little fender fell off. But anyway, that this is, a, I think, is a new detail that the Dollar Tree put on because I think they had this sign or something similar with the red truck last year, but they do have this little, like, 3D pop out there. Um, I'll just have to glue that back on. So they have this one. And then a homemade hot apple cider served here, mold with cinnamon sticks and cloves. And then they've got this uh, applique here, this little banner. So I thought that was really pretty. I do remember something similar to this, but I don't, I think it was more for Christmas. Am I, am I thinking? I don't know. I don't know. Again, I probably have it, but um, here it is. So pretty that I'd show you all. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It says family where life begins and love never ends. And I love this one as well. So isn't that pretty? And remember guys, Run, don't walk to the Dollar Tree because this stuff will be gone in a blink of an eye. And if you want it, go get it now. If you see it, grab it because it'll be gone. <laughs> anyway, moving on to health and beauty. They had these uh, Vicks Vapor Drops um, cough relief. And I thought, you know, for a dollar, that's a great deal. So I'm going to put these in my emergency bucket. They're nice and small and, you know, there for if we need it. And this one is the menthol. And you get 20 drops in this one as well. <clears throat> Thought that was a great buy. And then um, they had this. It's by Best Health. And this is the menthol cough drops. And these, you get 30 in this pack. And then they had the vitamin C dietary supplement. And I'm going to be taking this um, when we go see my mom. I'll be taking this with us. She just likes to um, suck on, uh, it's usually the honey and lemon ones. So I'll be taking both of these. So that they have the honey, lemon, the menthol, and then the vitamin C. So I'll be taking these two to my mom. I got those for her. <clears throat> and then look at this beautiful vase. Look how pretty. I love the shape of it. It's just so pretty with this. It's not um, twine. It's more like a leather, like a leather um, 
bow there. It's so pretty. And they had navy blue. They had red and orange. And I do have pictures to um, insert at the end of this video. So be sure to stay tuned for that so you can see all the different colors. And some items that I didn't purchase as well. Moving on to stationery by Jot. I just bought some heavy duty scissors. Um, mine are getting pretty dull. <laughs> so I picked up that. I also picked up some more Gelocity pins. I love these pins. A lot of people don't like the gel. I do. Um, I think because I'm a heavy handed writer. So um, they work out well for me. And then by Jot, they had these two pocket envelopes. They, so the first pocket is the snap there like that. And then it has the zipper or the slider there for the next pocket. So I did pick up two of those and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with these in a sec. Once I explain about these folders, look at this 10 pocket folder. It's an organizer and I'm going to use mine or I did. I already started using mine for my Cricut scraps. Um, I, I have all my Cricut scraps in a, in a, just a, a pail or a, a, a tote right now. And it just gets so overwhelming that I, I don't really go through my scraps, which I should, you know, because you want to use up what you can. Um, but I don't because it's just so overwhelming to go through all those colors and all those scraps. So I thought, you know what, this would be, a uh, great i'm just gonna sit down put a movie on or a, a youtube videos and you know support some other channels and yeah just sit there and organize all my cricut paper and my transfer paper so that's what i'll use with this and then i got another one and i'll use this for my card stock i'll put all my card stock in this and organize those by colors as well and then i'm going to use these for you know the the special ones or the you know the uncommon pieces and i'm gonna just you know use that and slide up these in my folders so that's what i'll be using these for i'm really trying to get like i said organized and um you know get back to what i love i really love crafting and that's um how i started my channel so I'll be doing a lot more of that. I'll still be doing my Dollar Tree hauls. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yes, yes. And with all that rambling, I will talk to everybody in my next video. And remember, hit that like button. And if you're new, stopping by for the first time, welcome. My name is Laura, if you don't know that already. <laughs> and I would love it if you stuck around. Uh, Dollar Tree hauls, crafting, a little bit of cooking, and a lot, a lot of rambling. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, if that's what you're interested in, I sure hope you stick around. Comment down below. I love to get to know you. If you are a new subscriber, let me know down in the comments so I can um, go say hi to you. And if you have a channel, I will reciprocate and I will go support you as well. So anyway, talk to y'all soon. Bye. They also had the shadow boxes, welcome fall, Happy Fall and Family, Friends, and Football. They had the mason jar shaped signs back. I don't think they um, are the same pictures though or the wording is different from last year. They also have the different colored vases that I hauled. Look at that blue one, isn't that beautiful? And here, look at this, fully stocked Crafters Square for the fall. Love it. Thank you, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye.